Well, Rocky the Cat says we're going to do a little review on the magnetic pulsar again because uh, there's probably some questions. And it's also relating to something else because the Spooky Remote is going to be getting a neodymium magnet uh, set up on it a certain way with a wire and stuff that's actually going to greatly help the transmission of the DNA remote. But it has nothing to do with this Clark Zapper, but it probably it's very essential that you put the north side or the south side a certain fashion so um let me get on with the clark zapper um review ray rocky what do you say about that huh you think so you can sit here and you can start purring good yeah this this is the um dr clark it's it's, it's a brand name i don't know if it really has anything to do with hold the clark bag zapper now, this has a side marked north and south, and I always have a tape on the south because I can actually feel it, and I can say, you want the north facing the body usually. Most often, almost every time, because um, the south side can actually stimulate not just the growth of good stuff, but the growth of bad stuff. So, anyway, um, let me just state this, though, um, that... Um, I saw some reviews on various zappers or whatever the hell you call these things, mag pulsers, and they say it's mine stronger than the other, and they use like this paper clip, right? And it'll put it on here. Now this one has a, a volume, and you can actually turn it down and up. Now I'm going to just state that this one is pretty close, when you turn it all the way up, it's pretty close to the Soda Instruments mag, mag pulser. It's pretty damn close to it. The soda is about 6,000 gauss. This one is a little over 5,500 gauss it's, uh, when it's at full power. That's my best information. But this would be about the second strongest one on the market and very close to sodas and it's adjustable. I don't know if you need to have the adjustable feature. But a lot of times they put the paper clip inside the coil and it jumps a lot more. The coil's inside the plastic. That's why it doesn't jump as much. If you took this plastic off the coil, you'd see the paper clip jump. And uh, see, it, it jumped anyway. But, you know, if I put a heavier paper clip on here, it wouldn't jump as much. And you can see how fast the lights are flashing. That's because it's on lower power. It can do more pulses, but it doesn't penetrate as much. If you turn it up, see, it's got a lot more power. It's got a lot more power. It's got pretty close to the Soda Instruments power. Now I want to shut this off because I want to point out that we got something coming up for the Spooky Remote. It's unrelated to this basically, but it has to do with a magnet. It's a small magnet. It's uh, 30 millimeters in size. Um, one and a quarter inches is 31.75 millimeters, and their specification is three millimeters wide. An eighth inch is like 3.15 millimeters wide. So basically it's a hair under one and a quarter and a hair less than an eighth inch wide. And it's N50 strength. I got some N52 strength, one inch, one inch by one eighth. They're probably a little higher gauss than actually the specification. But you have to have, you find the north side and face the north side down on the remote. I'm just putting that information out because that'll be coming up in the future because I jumped the gun on the order even though these are magnets are going to be available from uh, uh, Spooky 2 very soon and it's uh, supposed to greatly greatly um, you know give a lot more power to the DNA remote transmission well we'll find out I mean I don't know I'm going to test the theory I don't know so anyway this paper clip flew all the way down here that's a lightweight one that was even on a low power but like, like um, there are actually, I just want to get back to this again with the pulser. They're actually lying a lot of times with the way they demonstrate these different things. Not this brand. This brand's, this brand's actually a good deal. To me, in my opinion, it's the best bargain for the money. It's a little cheaper than soda instruments. It's just about the same power, plus it's adjustable for lower pulses. If, I don't know, maybe you might need that once in a while. I don't know. That's my opinion, but I don't know. Soda makes a really good one. But I want to also point out that there's videos and stuff that claim that these pulsers 
disable microbes. Now, there's claims out there by some, some people that are researchers that they could slow down microbes maybe a little bit. You know, that's really iffy. That's really iffy. That's using the north side of the magnet. That is really iffy. Actually, in the practical world, I've never seen, I've never seen anything that actually did that. I'm not a medical doctor, but I'm just telling you flat out. If you start seeing claims that this this pulsar disables microbes, uh, or the soda does, or anything, or I don't know, maybe Bob Beck says that. I don't know. This guy, he said a lot of things. I really don't know how he's coming up with his. Well, I do know he's just BS. But <laughs> there is a patent out there that a 20,000 gauss or more magnetic pulse, a patent, that's not a guaranteed proof, there's a patent out there that a 20,000 gauss or more magnetic pulse will disable microbes. The strongest one on the market is sodas, it's like uh, 6,000 gauss, this one's I think 5,700 gauss, it's very close, when it's turned all the way up. They don't disable microbes, so. And I know Bob Beck said that this this drives the microbes out of the lymph system. I don't know what the heck he's. You know, I know the guy's got 180 IQ, and I don't have 180 IQ, but um, my BS detector went off full tilt many times with this guy before. So I'm just putting it to you straight because I'm getting tired of uh, arguing with people or people that are trying to sell me something or whatever the hell it is. But anyway. Um, there's a lot of disinformation about these. These are basically really good for um, pain management. And um, that's where they've really come to shine. Like if you got an ankle that like kind of hurts, it kind of like works with this pain management. It also kind of works with the stimulation, nerve stimulation and stuff. It, you know, and they even used it for dogs, like for stroke recovery. So, you know, and I know the Italians, uh, medical, so many Italian medical people used it for people for stroke recovery you know even though Beck said not to use it well I'm gonna tell you the Italian doctors did this I'm not telling you to do it but they did it for stroke recovery they used a pulsar on the brain to help stimulate new nerve paths or something so they could relearn the brain can relearn and use areas of the brain that weren't damaged before and recover from a stroke they do do it on dogs I know that so that's all. So anyway, I got some cat music playing in the background over here, and this stupid thing got really loud. So uh, hopefully it's not overshadowing my voice. And uh, they like that music, man. Cats like they don't like heavy metal. They like calm music, you know. They go meow all the time. Anyway, over and out. Just want to clear some things up because uh, sometimes I'm getting very, very annoyed at the alternative media because I'm finding out. A lot of times, they're as bad as uh, the major alternative media. But I mean, the alternative health, the alternative media too. The alternative health, they're as bad as the major health. You know, the claims and exaggerations and all this other garbage too. So, anyway, over and out. Um, don't expect this to be a miracle, or whatever thing. It's kind of like, uh, yeah, it's like say your wrist hurt. You know, like say I'm wearing this magnetic uh, copper bracelet thing. I mean, my wrist don't hurt or nothing, but to say it did, a lot of people with golfers do this. Like, they might benefit from that. It, it might work with pain management. That's that's kind of like the limit of it. It's not a microbe disabling device. Like I said, the patent, which is not even proof, it's 20,000 gauss you need. That's that's strong stuff, man. And 20,000 gauss will wipe out your credit card and your hard drive on your computer in two seconds, <laughs> in a, a microsecond, so you'd have to watch that deal. You can actually screw up your credit cards and magnetic strips with this thing, believe me. So, uh, you know, anyway, over and out.